Hi, it's Lee from ASAP Studios. Today we're going to be showing you our free tool. It's a place name to coordinates tool. Um, now, quick note, we're running this on a Mac, but it's actually Windows software, but our software works on a Mac if you're running parallels as well. Um, so to start off, um, a quick note, if I bring up the website, in our um, uh, members area, uh, down the left hand side we have some resources already so we've only got a couple of countries in here at the moment but if I click on it I'll show you what we got so here we've got <clears throat> place names in the UK we've also got some coordinate lists already made and then we've got combined CSV list that's where it shows you the place names and the coordinates in one um, that's where we've saved it uh, using this CSV file exporter there so if I just uh, grab some locations and paste them in here just so we can sort of show you what's what. Um, it should accept <coughs> um, UTF uh, 8 characters so you can have umlauts and, and foreign characters not in the traditional A to Z character range. Um, it's very important I think that you, you state the country and also the the area um, of the location you're going for. So in this example, we've got town, uh, county, followed by England. Uh, the reason for this is is because Bedfordshire. If you type in Bedfordshire, there's many Bedfordshires across the world, and you've got to remember this is using um, Google to look up the location. So which is very very good uh, for using our. Google map scraper or stuff like that at least you know this is the correct location um, that Google recommends for for each place uh, you could be very precise um, you don't even have to say towns uh, you could say Hastings Pier for example um, you could actually you know be more specific to your location if you really wanted to um, anyway the coordinate scraper is quite quick it's um, multi-threaded, uh, it's also multi-threaded, so no settings, no nothing. Uh, just literally paste in your location phrases. Oh. Um, alarm. And then just let it well through. Uh, as you can see, it's quite quick. And then when it's done, it will just paste all the coordinates here for us, ready to copy and use elsewhere. So there we go, 21 locations done. Again, copy it to clipboard, paste it in another application. Uh, the format for these coordinates is perfect for our GMAP scraper. Um, although our GMAP scraper now, you don't know, uh, no longer need to have just map coordinates. You can put location phrases in as well now in the GMAP scraper. And essentially, GMAP scraper will do the same thing before making the search. Uh, you can also save to file. So if I show you this, uh, .csv, make sure you put the .csv when you save, and it'll pop it open so we can have a look. So there you can see what it does uh, in a CSV, it just uh, puts them in two nice columns for you, which is useful if you're um, using it for other applications or you want to keep a copy of uh, the locations and and the phrases which is pretty cool so um, yeah so it's a free tool no excuse to go and download it if you need coordinates or uh, you need to convert uh, phrases into coordinates not a problem um, I hope you found this video useful and enjoyed watching thank you very much